Good evening, good evening, my friends. Today, today, I wanted to share. I went to a Cardinals game last night. Somebody offered me a ticket, and then I ended up uh, taking my son. I found, um, you know, I kind of vowed that I wouldn't pay to go to any more Cardinals games. Uh, but, uh, you know, people offer me a ticket. I'm like, all right, uh, I'm going to go. And, uh, and then, of course, I had to buy a ticket for my son because he found out I was going and he really wanted to go, but I found the ticket. It was like $28. Um, but anyway, so, so that being said, as I was out, me and my son went down there. We were down, you know, at, at St. Louis at Bush Stadium. We got down there super early. I don't know what I was thinking. I was down there like three hours before the game. <laughs> At least two and a, two hours or so, but um, oh, it was two hours before the game, and then so we we got inside and and we went and sat down and and you know we were just eating, but I was just you know just there with my son and he was excited and I don't know you know we're just looking at the buildings, we're looking at all the stuff, we're looking at the people, and you know I just remembered this scripture. Uh, from 1 John 2, 15 and 16, it says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that does the will of God abides forever. But as I was thinking, you know, just even watching the baseball game, you know, I'll be honest, I really just don't care. <laughs> I mean, it's fun, it's exciting, you know, it's just something to do, um, it's something to pass time, um, but it's not, you know, I don't know, just everything in the world, it, it really, I don't know, it, it's vain, you know what I mean? Um, there's things that God has given us to, you know, I think that sports are a good thing. Um, and I think that someday, you know, in the future, you know, after we we inherit the kingdom, um, well, the physical, you know, becomes the, the eternal, uh, when we get our new bodies, I, there will be sports again. Um, I have no doubt in my mind that, that this is a foreshadow of, of something I don't Maybe there will be baseball in, in heaven. I don't know. I'm sure there'll be awesome games. But um, but right now, it's just, I enjoyed it. But but all the things in the world, you know, like that, like, we, we you know, are drawn to. Like the VIP and, and, and just being seen and, and uh, you know, I noticed, you know, some of the baseball players were just giving away um, stuff, and and I don't I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I'm just trying to say, don't love the world. Um, the world's fading; it's fading away. We can't get caught up. You know, we got to make sure that no matter what, that Christ is first in our lives. And I'm not saying that it's evil to do anything that's for entertainment. But if those entertainment things are before Christ, it is evil. You know what I mean? It's crazy that God has given us all things freely to enjoy as long as we're grateful and give thanks to Him and honor Him with the things that He's given us to enjoy. But if we enjoy those things without giving uh, Him honor and glory, then then we're placing a love for the things in the world over God. And um, there are other things in the world that as you're out even enjoying the things we have freedom to enjoy you'll see like just the pride of life um and we got to be freed from that we got to be freed from needing the fancy the flashy the um the best and i don't know it's it's, it's I'm a, i have a hard time with it because i i like to do things right and if I do it, I want to go all in, you know. And so even for me, I'm talking to myself like, love not the world, 
these are the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So let's let that be our word today, and let's test ourselves based on how we love the world. Is this world your home? Is this like, you know, we should always feel like we're not home. We should always feel displaced. I think that's probably one of the greatest tests is, do you, are you comfortable here? Are you, could you not imagine leaving? Is there anything that you would think that you wouldn't want to leave behind? Um, just let's test ourselves today by how much we love the world and, and how much uh, this place is our home and we can't imagine leaving. Amen.